What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today our goal is pretty straightforward. I'm going to see how many bass I can catch or how many inches of bass I can catch on one soft plastic. And I'm going to use the Nico Super Ned today because that has been money. I don't know what a good goal is. I was going to go with 200 inches, but I had no idea how windy it is right now. Um, the wind is really ripping and that makes it tricky when you're fishing with braid um, and using a finesse presentation. But I thought about moving the goalpost to 100, but we're going to stick with 200. We're going to see what we can do. I hope you guys enjoy. Okay, fish on. Oh, he, he wants to go airborne. Come on, buddy. You gonna jump for me again? You can. I knew you wanted to. Get on over here, buddy. Oh, you have some friends with you. You have some friends. Tell them to stick around. And you're a good fish, dude. Stay on. It's funny, y'all can probably tell from the audio that the wind is really bad. And the second the wind dies down, they get active. It's kind of crazy, I mean, it makes sense that they would be finicky. Oh, you're a toad. You're a toad. Get over here. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, you are a toad. Yeah, dude. You're a chunker. You're three pounds at least. Well, we're doing a length challenge, so I'm not even going to ask. I think you're probably three you're pretty fat you might be three and a half but we're just gonna get a quick measure for the challenge and we will let you go on your merry way you are yeah you're right about 18 inches i'd say you're probably three pounds good fish thanks for the fight buddy let's get you back Can y'all see that? Either that's an eagle or an osprey that has a fish right now. This is zooming above in the wind, holding a trophy. It looks like a pretty big fish too. What is that? Can you fly over me? Let's see. Is that a bass? I think it has a bass. There we go. Fish on. That was as soon as it hit the water. They're around, but I guess this wind just has them freaked out. This is a dink. I just know the sound quality is horrific on this right now, but. Oh, you're not that small. This wind is brutal. Calm yourself, dude. Okay. There we are. 
decent little bass on the Nico Super Ned in Firebug. Man, I don't know if we want to keep going with our challenge or not because the conditions have just been so bad. We'll get a quick measurement. This guy can't be more than 15, 16 inches, but I guess it all counts in these conditions. Let's see. Yeah, this is a 15 incher. Thanks for the fight, buddy. Guys, this is just a horrific scenario right now. It is so windy. I'm so exposed. I'm fishing with light braid. I'm just getting the biggest bow in my line when I cast. It's making it difficult to detect subtle bites. I'm just torn because there's bass around and in the lulls between the wind, they will bite and they have been biting here and there. But this is just, this is miserable fishing. This is not ideal at all. So the question is, do I call it a day and live to fight another day? Or do I keep grinding it out? I'll try to grind it out for a few more minutes, I think, but this is not the most fun. What am I doing? You guys ever wondered whether I actually like to fish? This should be evidence because this sucks. Oh. There's one. Okay. Okay, you're a good fish. You are a good fish. Man, I wish y'all would stop biting so I can go home. Oh, you're a toad. Oh, you're chunky. You're chunky. Dude. Yeah, you're a really good fish. You're a really good fish. Playing ring around the rosy? Yeah, we are. Okay. Yeah, you're a good one. You are a good one. Okay. Okay, calm yourself. Calm yourself. Oh, you're fat, dude. You are fat. Look at the gut on this fish. That is a fat bass. Get a length on you. Oh, Cause we're doing a length challenge. 17 inches. So you're not very long. You're only 17, but you're a three pounder. Man, what a beautiful fish on the Nico Super Ned in Firebug in the crazy wind. Oh, thanks for the fight, buddy. There's one. Oh man, you guys are just going airborne today. That's one of the coolest things about smallmouth bass is that they they love to jump when you set the hook. They really give you quite a show. And again, pound for pound, you'd be hard pressed to find a fish that fights harder than a smallmouth bass. I've caught lots of fish in my, my life. There are a lot of contenders, striper, for example, but even these little smallmouth bass, they put up such a fight. Okay, let's see, buddy. You're a bit of a dink. 
we're trying to get 200 inches let's see I know I know what are you you're a 15 incher thanks for the fight buddy and I'm gonna have to go back and watch this to review it to see what we've got we've got what an 18 to 17 and what two 15s we're on the way but we've got a long way to go in this wind Fish on. Okay. Get over here. Oh, yeah. Oh, I know woe is me out here catching bass, but I am freezing right now. Hey dude, come on. It's a decent little, decent little bass. Man, these super neds are money this time of the year. And this firebug has such a cool, almost Christmas pattern to it, but it seems to be doing the trick. Let's see, buddy. You're I'm guessing you're gonna be 15 or so. Let's check it out. No, you're actually 16. All right, thanks for the fight, buddy. And thanks for adding to my total and splashing my camera just now. You feel like a dink. terrible you know a couple things are surprising me about this trip guys one is that the bass are biting it all in this hurricane simulator but the second thing that's surprising to me is that they seem more concentrated in the center of the creek as opposed to up close to the bank i would have assumed that these bass would want to seek shelter from the wind but they're all out in the middle for the most part i don't know if the spawn or pre-spawn has them all riled up but yeah that has been a pretty big surprise for me you are 14 inches you're the smallest of the day i think thanks buddy Oh my goodness, dude, chill. Golly. This should be a good reminder to you guys. Don't avoid going fishing because the conditions aren't ideal. I mean, they are not ideal today at all. I didn't expect to catch many bass, but they're relatively active despite this wind so sometimes it's worth it to get out there when no one else is out there they're a decent bass too okay 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 calm yourself calm yourself dude just want to take some pictures okay it's a bass masters grab right there oh you seem pretty long you're gonna help us out a bit what are we working with brother you are 
Oh, you're 16 inches. That'll help. Thanks for the fight. Now guys, every single bass you've seen me catch so far has been on the same Super Ned. And this thing doesn't even look chewed up at all compared to a lot of soft plastics. It's amazing the longevity you can get with these Nico baits. I'm really not just saying that. I, I love this product. I use it all the time. And just the time you get out of a pack of Nico baits is just so far and above what you get with anything else. Man, that was the second it hit the water. Oh cool, now it's raining. I'd have it no other way. Okay, no, we set a new dink record. This is the new dink record. You're not gonna help us get 200 very much, buddy. What in the world? <laughs> Look at that guy. That is a, that is a Dinkosaurus Rex. Wow. Man, that super net's half the size you are. What is this? We'll do, we'll add it to our uh, our bag and we'll see what we've got. But my goodness, buddy. Yeah, he's a 10 incher. Well, it helps, buddy. Thanks for the fight. Yeah, we found the nursery. We found the nursery up against the bank. So the small ones are tucked up in these branches. The bigger ones are just chilling out in the middle of the creek. Okay. Yeah, you know, I was already cold and feeling great. Rain is just what I could use right now. Goodness gracious. Well, you're not, you're not the same type of dink as the last one, but a dink nonetheless. You've got a nice color on you. Uh, what are you, maybe 12, 13? Let's see Yeah. By the way, guys, I have a tape measure attached to my waders right now. That's why I'm doing this so quickly. That's, that's how I'm getting it done. I'm not just making these numbers up. Okay. Yeah, you're a 13 incher. Thanks for the fight, buddy. Oh, fish on. You're not a dink. You're probably going to help a little bit. you're not huge yeah more rain lovely okay ring around the rosy again oh, you you're decent oh, 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 oh. should we do another bass master grab yeah there we go Nice fish. Quick measurement. Fifteen. Thanks for the fight, buddy. I don't think I've given you guys a gear rundown yet on this trip. I've got the Pen Battle 3 reel. I have it paired on the St. Croix Triumph. This is a seven foot medium and I'm using a Z-Man uh, Ned rig with the Nico Super Ned. So that's what we're rocking today. Could we set a new dink record? Could we set a new dink record? You feel so tiny. Probably a bluegill or something. 
Man, what? Well, I guess you're putting up a little bit of a fight now. No, you're just a dink bass. You're a dink bass, but you'll count. You will count. Okay, buddy. Thank you, thank you. Let's see what you can add to our total here. I'm guessing 10. I underestimated you, buddy. You're 11. Thank you, thank you. Gentle release. That actually brings up a, a point. I've gotten a few comments since I started a YouTube channel about uh, the way I handle my fish. And it seems to me that there are tiers. Um, trout fishermen and musky fishermen seem to me to be the worst about how you handle fish. I mean, if you just touch a trout at all or touch a musky at all, everyone says dead fish, dead fish. Um, bass fishermen usually aren't too bad, but I got a comment the other day about, uh, you know, um, putting fish in shallow water and putting them on the grass a little bit before I grab them. At the end of the day, guys, we are fishing. No one cares if you're putting a hook in a fish's mouth, uh, but they get worked up about how you handle them. I would never, and I mean never, intentionally harm a fish. Sometimes you just don't really have a choice but to do something that's less than ideal. Um, you know, you, you try to wet your hands, you try to keep them off the bank, uh, you try to get them unhooked and back in the water as quickly as possible. But I found that no matter what you do, someone's always going to complain about the way you handle a fish. You either threw them into the deep water and that was uncomfortable for them. You put them in the shallow water, but that wiped away their slime because it wasn't deep enough. Honestly, you will never satisfy people with how you handle fish. So I just want you guys to know that I do my best to treat all fish with respect. I have no incentive to harm fish at all. Uh, but sometimes given the situation, you just can't do everything to the book. I'm not always in a spot to wet my hands. I'm not always in a spot to only hold a fish horizontally or vertically or not touch them to wipe off slime. But I just wanted to bring that up because it seems that a recurring theme in negative uh, comments on fishing videos has to do with the way you handle fish. So I just wanted to clear the air on that one. Holy shoot. I have no idea whether you guys saw that. Oh man, but I almost just stepped on a muskie and it scared the absolute junk out of me. Oh man, that was a big musky too. That was a big musky. That was a really big musky. And that bass just got off. Probably good for him that that musky's around, but it's funny, the bass in this hole right here just completely slowed down after that musky swam by. I mean, he scared me, but he has to be a scary sight for those, uh, those bass as well. He was at least 40 inches. I mean, he was a full grown musky. So these bass may have hightailed it. Guys, I don't know if we're at 200 yet or not. We've gotta be pretty close. And my bait is still going strong. Uh, but I'm cold and I'm wet. And I'll cast a few times now that I'm walking back to my truck, but that was a pretty good day. I cannot believe that the bass were so willing to bite in this wind. That's such a surprise. I thought I was going to have a miserable day, but we ended up catching a, a fair number of bass. Well, that's gonna do it for us, guys. I don't know whether we hit 200 or not. We've gotta be pretty close. I'll need to get home and check, uh, but we caught a lot of bass and I'm really surprised with how windy it was. Um, but that just goes to show you, sometimes you can't read the conditions the way you think you can. Um, and today was a good example. I didn't think I was gonna catch a ton of bass, but we did. And I used the same Nico Super Ned and Firebug the entire time, and it is not even close to being chewed up. So that's just a testament to how good their products are. If you use the code EVERYMAN at their shop, you'll get a discount on your purchase. 
Uh, until next time, tight lines. Y'all take care.